Well, moving on to another story, the highly anticipated U.S.-China trade talks between President Donald Trump and Xi Jinping ended in Osaka, where they agreed on a trade truce. Kim Ye Song has the details. Presidents Trump and Xi agreed to resume trade talks that broke down in May and to stop imposing new tariffs for now. We won't be adding an additional, uh, you know, tremendous amount of, uh, we have, I guess, $350 billion left, uh, which could be taxed or could be tariffed. And we're not doing that. We're, uh, we're going to work with China on where we left off. China is going to be buying a tremendous amount of uh, food and agricultural product, and they're going to start that very soon, almost immediately. At the news conference in Osaka, Trump added that the U.S. will give China a list of agricultural goods to buy. China state-run Xinhua News Agency also reported that the two sides agreed to restart trade negotiations and that the U.S. will not impose new tariffs. Another agreement was struck regarding Chinese tech firm Huawei. Citing security risks, the U.S. Commerce Department last month blacklisted Huawei, banning U.S. companies from supplying parts to the Chinese firm without a license. But Trump said... U.S. Huawei. companies can sell their equipment to Huawei. We're okay. talking about equipment where there is no great uh, national emergency problem with it. But the U.S. companies can sell their equipment. Trump added that Huawei is the last issue in trade talks, showing how tricky and complex it is to ban trading with Huawei. The months-long U.S.-China trade spat has resulted in tariffs on a total of 360 billion U.S. dollars of goods on one another as of date. It remains to be seen if the U.S. and China can reach a deal on trade, as the two still differ on U.S. demands over intellectual property protection and China's structural reform, among others. But for now, there is no escalation in trade tensions and trade talks will continue. In a way, it's just like the 90-day ceasefire agreed last December when Presidents Trump and Xi agreed on a trade truce during their talks on the sidelines of the G20 summit in Argentina. Kim Hye-sung, Arirang News.